Hi, this is one of my bridal looks and you need to watch the intro really before you watch this look video just to get all the background to it and all the tips. To start with, I'm gonna use primer. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier just regular foundation primer. And I'm just gonna use that all over. I'm gonna take it down on, onto my neck and chest as well. On to foundation. I'm going to use this Suku foundation. It looks quite thick, but actually it's really, you can work it really nice and thin and natural looking. And the reason I'm choosing it is because I've worked with it quite a bit and it's very long lasting. So that's my main criteria. So I've applied a nice thin layer of the foundation and really long lasting makeup, which bridal makeup needs to be is all about thin layers really expertly applied so really worked into the skin so there's nothing really left kind of sitting on top of the skin now I'm going to go on to um, because this foundation doesn't have any light reflection in it at all which is good because I can kind of judge how it's going to photograph I am going to put a little bit of highlighter on I'm going to use the skin illuminator by number seven and this is the peachy one because I'm doing this warmer look um, I'm just going to put a little bit of that onto the back of my hand and using the same foundation brush now, I, bearing in mind this is going to be photographed a lot, probably quite a bit with flash as well, especially if you're having a sort of evening do. I'm just going to put it exactly where I want it to be, so just on the high points. Now, before I put on concealer, I'm just going to use a little bit of cream blush, and this is a Bobbi Brown Calypso Coral. It looks very bright here, but actually, once it's on the cheeks, I'm just going to pat a few dots on there. I'm going to really work this in the foundation again it's a thin another thin layer and these layers are really going to stay if you get them really worked in okay now onto the concealer as I said in the intro this is the thing you've got to be really careful about when it comes to light reflection especially around the eyes I'm going to use the Clinique airbrush concealer because it does have some light reflection but not as much as, um, as some of the pens and also what I'm going to do I'm going to dot a little bit on, but I'm going to work it in with a regular concealer. This is a Laura Mercier concealer. Okay, so I've just concealed under my eyes, and I've also concealed lots of the little lumps and bumps. So just using, again, I use the secret camouflage with a tiny, tiny brush. You want to get your skin looking really, really perfect. I'm going to use some powder. It's not a light reflective powder. It's just the, um, I think it's called Invisible Blend. Yes, it is from Clinique, and this is number 20. With quite a small brush. I'm going to put a really nice fine layer pretty much all over because the highlighter that I used earlier on is going to come through the powder anyway and particularly if you're oily skinned or sort of combination I think for a bridal makeup you're better off you're safer with um, powder everywhere and then just very lightly underneath, hardly any at all, under your eyes, I should say. Okay, now onto the eye makeup. This is my warm look. Now, depending on your skin colour, what's warm for you and what looks natural for you, because it's got to look natural, this makeup, um, it'll depend, you know, what skin colour you are. This is a gorgeous one called Blushing Nude for a very pale skin by Clinique. Um, another one which is gorgeous for pale skin is a Dior one called um, Incognito and that's always been a bit of a favourite of mine, it's got a really nice neutral shades. Um, slightly mid, more mid-tone skin, you could use Elegant by um, Dior which just gets a little bit, a little bit warmer but it's not kind of too much. Um, same with Cassia Beige by Chanel. I know these are all pretty premium houses, you can find these sorts of colours um, on the high streets as well. And then the darker, the more olive, the darker toned skins, something like Beige Maasai. I'm going to go for the mid one, I'm going to go for Cassia Beige, which is um, by Chanel. And I'm going to use the sort of golden tone here first. And I'm just going to use that all over my eyelid completely just up to the socket line and already it's so pretty this colour it's sort of natural but it's already giving me some definition from the same palette I'm going to use the um, the deeper brown shade the one that's above the golden shade so just bringing in the next deeper shade just to add some definition there and how high you go up into the socket line depends on the shape of your eyes if you're 
a bit more mature or you've got a hooded eyelid then it's going to be more flattering for you to have some more depth up here but the main thing is you want it to look very natural so you don't want to see the steps between the different colors and also you don't want to be able to sort of almost see the makeup you just want it to have have it look like a sort of beautiful defined eye Right, next I'm going to take the darkest colour from this palette and I'm going to take a damp brush. I'm just going to apply the shadow as a liner. I don't really want it to look like a liner though, so I'm using it wet. And I'm going to blend it in a bit more in a second. I'm also going to use it wet underneath. It's going to look too harsh now but it'll look really nice once it's blended in and I'm just going to go about halfway along with that so going back to the lighter shade again from this palette the one I used all over my lid I'm going to use this smoky eyeliner brush and just blend in the line that I've just applied so it almost disappears, but you're just left with that defining haze. Same underneath. And then you can finish off with the very light shade from the quad, just up onto the brow bone there. So that's a very, very classic four shade eye. Medium shade here, darker shade here, darker shade against a line against the lashes and the lighter shade up here so it's sort of it looks incredibly classic but it's amazing how well that will photograph next I'm going to use pencil now you can either use a brown on the waterline or a little bit more into the lashes this is Teddy by Mac which is lovely you could use that if you feel like you need more definition around your eyes um, or you could use a beigey colour. This is great if you've got really small eyes or if you suffer from sort of a lot of redness in your eyes um, and it's great for making your eyes look bigger. I'm going to use this colour and I'm going to apply a waterproof. This is um, Armani Eyes to Kill Mascara Waterproof and I've tested this one out and it really really works. I think we can safely say that if you're wearing this on your wedding day and you um, start crying you are going to be fine. So I've got mascara top and bottom. Now I'm going to do my brows and for your wedding day, especially with this sort of quite natural look, you want your brows to look as natural as possible. So I'm just going to brush them down and just work a little bit into the high point there and just fill in any gaps. So my brows are on and next I'm going to do my lips. So I'm going to start with a pencil and I'm going to use it all over the lips. And once you've got your shape and you've got all over your lips, you can just sort of pat that in. That's a nice stain. It's going to help your lipstick to really stay on. So I'm going to use this lovely peachy colour. This is Lola by um, Chanel. Put plenty on the lip brush and really work it into the lips. Again, we want a nice thin layer on. This is a sort of moisturising lipstick, so it's going to give my lips a nice sheen without being too glossy. Now, So to finish off and give that lovely three-dimensional look and the freshness you need as a bride, get your white dress on. I'm going to use this um, sort of corally one with a bit of shimmer in, which is Tweed Coral by Chanel. And you just want a really nice, fresh sort of bloom to the cheeks. And just sort of smile and bring it onto the apples of the cheeks there. And this has a nice sheen in it. It is going to pick up a bit of light in the flash, but it's not going to be too much. And it's quite nice to have a bit of a sheen on your cheeks anyway. And that's a nice, natural, quite warm bridal makeup that's going to photograph well. There's enough definition around the eyes. Obviously, you can adapt it to suit your face, but um, it's just going to give you that sort of natural, beautiful, healthy look. You're going to look like yourself and um, it should last all day. Thanks for watching.